This next stitch is very similar to the low front ridge, but it's called the low back ridge or abbreviated LBR. Okay. This will we're going to be working on top of about three rows of single crochet just to demonstrate. At the end of the single crochet row, I'm going to chain one. Um, for the low back ridge, again, like I said, it's similar. Instead of working in the front ridge, let's review that. This is the front row or the front loop of your stitch, and here is the back ridge or the back loop. Okay, just like in the low front ridge, I'm going to skip the first single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch in the second on the back by pulling it through, pulling it through, slip stitch in the back loop only. And I'm going to do that in each single crochet across the row. Now also to make this look even, as you can see here, it looks like it's coming up a little short. We're going to go ahead and do that in the turning chain as well. And this makes up for the stitch that we skipped at the beginning. Okay, now we're going to chain one and turn. That's the end of row one of the low back ridge. For, for the second row, um, it's a little difficult. I'm going to turn it back so you can see. We're going to be working in the back ridge or the back row, back loop. Okay, you can see this is the back side of the single crochet row. This would be the first, these are the loops. That's the first loop we're going to single crochet in, and then we're going to work in this one, in this one, you know, etc. I just wanted to show that to you before I flip it. So I'm going to flip it, kind of looking down from the back. We're going to work in each one. You don't want to skip any of the loops, not like we did the first time. Work in every back loop of the single crochet. Okay, all the way across the row. Notice also we're doing single crochet for the row two, even though we did um, slip stitch. Now for the last stitch of the row, this is a little tricky. There is a loop here. And one way you can tell that we're not quite done yet, if you look at the row, it looks a little short because because we're missing one stitch. Put one stitch in that last row. And now we look at the row. It's nice and even. The, the edges are, are nice and even. Okay, And you can see there's a nice little ridge right here that's going to frame whatever stitches we continue with. It's a nice little border to use. Again, the low back ridge.